Okay, <laughs> hello dear friends, good, good morning, such a, a beautiful, beautiful morning. Behind me is Gold Rush Museum in Auburn, California. On my uh, search for gold, <laughs> myself I do not search for gold, but uh, I just, I am just very curious and interested in this part of history, California, the beginning of California. So I came here, so this is a museum. Let's take a look. The museum closed, but uh, still we can see something very interesting. So this museum was uh, built on a train depot. And uh, California's development is very much started from uh, from the, the the gold rush and there was a big demand for people to travel before the train uh, the railroad was built if people from east coming to America East, the East Coast, coming to uh, the West. It takes uh, six months. If they take boat, they need to go through, um, through the South America, uh, uh, make a boat tour. And if by train from Mississippi, from uh, Missouri, coming here takes six months. None of it is less than six months. So there was a need to build a real way. And the California, even before that, California was part of a, a Mexican land grant, right? Uh, Alta California later on became California and the Baja California the low California uh, was still is still part of Mexico and uh, so there was need to build this railway 1848 that is uh, about 100 um, now it's 20 100 uh, 60, 158 years ago. About 158, 50, 56 years ago, 156 years ago, uh, there was a guy whose name is James Marshall and he found gold. At that time, he was not coming here for gold. He come here to cut wood. He came here to cut wood because um, California with these redwood trees, uh, it was uh, very, very precious and uh, so abundant uh, amount, amount of trees. So it's just easy and uh, the land did not belong to anybody. Anybody can come as long as you you were born early and you have strength, you have skill, you can do it. So he came here and uh, planning to make a sore meal, the tree cut meal. And he built a sore meal and he was planning the, the, the water, the sawmill need water supply. Any industry needs water supply, right? So there was um, uh, one day in the morning at Sutter Mill, which is not far away, I just passed by on my way, 40, Highway 49, and he saw some glittering on the bottom of the river. So he searched and uh, that was gold. So he told um, the neighboring people, he told other people, oh, I found gold, but don't tell us, tell anybody else. Of course, if you found gold, if you do not want other people to know, the first thing the other people is to tell others, right? So 
it uh, it became known and the people all over the world coming here it takes this one shows at that time there were some cartoons and this cartoon was uh, in 18 let me see this cartoon was in 1849 49 just before uh, California became United States California entered United States in 1850 that's a few years a couple of years after the gold discovery and you can see uh, they were dreaming of taking a rocket and they were dreaming of taking an air balloon airline they were dreaming of jumping into the water and uh, coming to to get uh, gold so this is not so much this museum is not so much about uh, digging gold but the gold rush how to rush fast enough quick enough into uh, California and to dig gold here is a, a famous person historical person his name is Isabel Claude Chana Claude Chana Evian de France the Huan and uh, in 1811 that is way before the gold rush he immigrated to America and uh, in 1839 oh he was born in that time 1839 he immigrated through New Orleans so now New Orleans has uh, a big population of uh, of uh, a French population speak French language Orléans Nouvelle Orléans New Orleans and he moved to San Joseph, Missouri and opened a store where he helped supply wagon trains headed to west and uh, at that time America was relatively poor and the people was actually making effort to coming to to, uh, to, to go to Mexico and uh, it needs quota, it needs uh, immigration restriction to come to, uh, to go to Mexico at that time. So he prepared, but people wanted to discover new land. And in the East is already developed, which was not the development as now, but still it was developed. So people look for new land and there were inland uh, wagon trains those horse carriage or something to lead to the west and uh, Claude Shana he walked on that and uh, there was one day he was thinking how about myself jump the wagon so he jumped the train <laughs> he didn't jump the boat he jumped onto one of uh, the one of his own va wagon and came here and he became friends with James Marshall who was the guy developed the gold uh, not developed discovered gold and actually uh, Shana by himself he found gold also in the Auburn ravine there was a river in Auburn and um, he thought James Marshall could find gold why not myself try some luck so he went to the river and uh, washed out the, the water he was kind of a crafty person he used um, he cut some trees and use the wood make the, the, the tree as a pen a mining pen and uh, uh, flip, 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 and he found three pieces of gold. 
So he brought men and established Auburn as a mining camp also. So Auburn is also a mining camp. And uh, Coloma is about, um, is about 20 miles away from here, the first place to discover gold. So it's all the surrounding. I think if you walk distance, the walking distance, 20 miles, it's about four hours walking, right? So it's, a, it's a still a neighborhood area. And later on, Shana f put his focus into agriculture. And uh, you know, Mount R Rainier, uh, Rainier, Rainier, um, Rainier Cherry, I think it's a French name, is a French guy brought a cherry to Washington State. And uh, San Jose also is a French man started the prune, the orchard, the fruit orchard. So I think there is something in the blood of a French that uh, is quite uh, peculiar about agriculture, grafting. So he focused on uh, agriculture. And, uh, this is a piece of uh, uh, cement sculpture by a local dentist. I just read about the cement and suddenly I remember uh, Auburn was actually famous for cement, this area. Uh, um, Auburn and uh, Placerville, famous for it. Okay, let's take a look at um, at this uh, uh, train depot, train depot. <laughs> so California had uh, a need for uh, <clears throat> for a railway, right? And at that time, the railway was not yet built. So uh, the government. Um, Abraham Lincoln had made a Pacific, uh, made a, a kind of a, a um, um, agreement or contract or pact to allow Pacific Railway to be built, and there was no time. So the local, the very first starting of the Pacific uh, uh, Railway, the, the, the real transportation, was actually by um, local businessmen, four local businessmen. Let's see who are these four big giants. These are the hotels. Let me find. So there was one guy, Leland Stanford. He was a grocer grocery grocer grocer and um, Huntington uh, Collies Huntington what had left now is Huntington Library in Los Angeles area but Huntington Library was not by this Collies Huntington was by another guy who is also industrialist I'm sorry oh, this this kind of a train or <laughs> sound do have a, a kind of emergency, a rush feeling, right? So <clears throat> there was one guy called Huntington, Cooley's Huntington, and he later on, uh, his nephew is Henry Huntington and uh, used the money made Huntington Library, Huntington Garden. Beautiful, huge, huge garden. Another guy, another one industrialist is uh, <coughs> a Crocker, Mr. Crocker. And I think uh, the, the <coughs> and Sacramento. I think the Sacramento um, Sacramento um, Crocker Museum, which had 
beautiful, wonderful、um, collection of art. I hope I can go there this time. Maybe I do not have time. I will go there another time.、Uh, Quaker Museum and Leland Stanford. Who had a university, Stanford, and there was another guy. I kind of forgot the name. Let me search a little bit. So、uh, let's go to find the 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 fourth guy. We shall not forget the name of these people, right? They made great contribution to the development of California. Oh yes, the big four: Sacramento business hardware merchant Mark Hopkins, Mark Hopkins, Coley Huntington, dry good merchant Charles Crocker, and、uh, Grosser, Leland Stanford. So they put money on the road and became richer and even richer. Yeah. So this one is uh,、um, caboose. I do not know why it is called caboose. This little hand hand pushed the barrel. Ah, this is hand hand pushed barrel or hand pushed、uh, little cart. And that guy. Is a Chinese guy, <coughs> and、uh, nowadays you hear a lot of word coolie, coolie, and、uh, it is actually coming from a Chinese word. Ku is bitter, hard. Li is labor. So this is a word for coolie, coolie. Ku li in Chinese pronunciation is、uh, a hard worker, is a,、um, a dirty hand,、uh, this kind of hard worker. And you can see this one is also cement、um, sculpture. So this area does has a lot of cement before finding gold, and.、Uh, <coughs> So, but just a little bit Chinese language, yeah.、Uh, for example, this horse I don't want to do. It's like doing hard work. So this job I don't want to do. It's just a, a coolie labor. It's just a hard labor.、Uh, just, I want to play every day. I don't want to do hard work. I want to play every day. I do not want to do hard work. Coolie, hard work, hard work, hard work. So,、um, <coughs> transcontinental Pacific Pacific Railway or California Railway has a lot to thank to Chinese coolie, to Chinese labors. Not only Chinese labors, the labors from all over the world, right? And Chinese labor has done some particular.、Um, Hard jobs, yeah. I I remember there was one time my sister.、Uh, you see, these are the people, coolie,、uh, the Chinese labor. This looks like、uh, granite. Looks a little bit like quartz. At least it has quartz in it. Yeah. So to break these mountains, boulders of these huge. Big rocks and granite. Yeah. <clears throat> so this station was、uh, was the fourth station. It has built and burned, built and burned, built and burned, and this one is the fourth. And also, this was not the original location of the train station.、Uh, Auburn has、uh, two or three train stations. Thinking about France, there is Gare de Lyon, Gare l'Est, Gare de Gare du Nord, 
and Beijing uh, Xizhimen Huochezhan, Dongzhimen Huochezhan. So there are a lot of train stations when the city is big. So I am guessing this place is important and uh, because of the Gold Rush Road, because from here, Auburn, Placerville, uh, Kaohsiung City, the Pony Express Road. So it's, uh, it's quite an important. So Auburn, downtown, is one mile from here. And there was uh, another train station in those places. So this was not uh, uh, downtown of Auburn. It was uh, the east of Auburn because of uh, <clears throat> the development of the train route by a guy whose name is Judah. Let me see. By a guy whose name is Judah. It's in another place. And uh, <clears throat> we will go back to there. So uh, they had a, a train stop, so they made hotels. And the hotels start to develop and people coming here, and people coming here need to sleep, need to live. There was one guy built the best hotel in the whole wide world. There was a Putman Hotel, there was a, a Freeman Hotel, and the Freeman Hotel is not free, but uh, his name is Freeman. <laughs> so this is one of the best hotel, and uh, they call it uh, home, away from home, where you are at home. Oh my goodness, I just listened to one story. There was a guy, he robbed a bank and he waited in the bank to, to be arrested so that they will be put to jail. And this is a true story, just a couple of years ago. And uh, the police arrested him, and the judge in the court, they asked, why do you want to rob a bank? He said, I did not want to live with my wife. And going to jail is better than stay uh, with my wife, live with my wife. And then the judge listened and made a decision. The verdict is in-house imprisonment for six months. <laughs> do bummer he got <laughs> the best revenge okay so <laughs> home away from home yeah for me it is true i want to go back home actually i was planning to stay here for a couple of days two nights three nights just one night i start to miss home i want to go back home tonight yeah so this is urban so the the commerce development everything start to be good and um and uh, a new town, East Auburn, start to develop with a lot of shops, stores, and, uh, and uh, convenient transportation. There were um, wagon and uh, car, uh, shuttle, shuttle car, shuttle wagon between these two places. So these train is northwestern mm -hmm. so this is the train we can walk up to it and uh, full of uh, graffiti and I remember it there were time actually I have been here or at least maybe not outside but I have been in this kind of place uh, between the two cars and uh, um, this is the luggage. I think this is the luggage. Luggage. Yeah, a little bit uh, out of uh, control now. Huh? <coughs> okay, let's go to find the fourth guy. Uh, the uh, find the guy who decided to go this route. 
Yes, Judah. What his name? Theodore Judah, real road pioneer. So he has decided this is the best route. So let's build it here. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, a little bit story of uh, Stanford connecting the transcontinental, uh, transcontinental. Um, transcontinental train. The last spike was actually um, was actually um, laid in Omaha, no, uh, in, in in Utah, Promontory Summit in Utah in May 1869 and uh, <coughs> Leland Stanford at that time he built he put a lot of money on it and he made a good business out of it and he made um, himself a government uh, uh, official he was uh, California governor so he stuck the last ceremonial spike, spike of 18 ounces pure gold with the inscription across the head, the last spike. Story, isn't it fascinating? So every time, so this is why I want to <coughs> take more trains and take trains to different places. In Europe, I took train. In Bodan, I took train. And uh, going from Bodan to Lyon, Paris to what is the other place? Paris to different places, um, Bucharest, Budapest, and uh, and uh, Berlin, and uh, Stuttgart. All these places I took train. I think train is one of the best thing, right? It takes less space, it takes uh, uh, no traffic because it's dedicated uh, real road. I just hope that uh, California or anywhere, everywhere in the world will reconsider it and make train, make fast speed train make a DGV train de grand vitesse DGV make uh, yeah in China there are train train track d d connecting the whole world and this before the transcontinental this railway from uh, New York from east to San Francisco Los Angeles it took uh, six months and now nine days and now even shorter maybe another day I I will take a real train right okay <laughs> thank you very 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 much I love you I really do 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 that's very very typical <laughs> with graffiti with this uh, uh, mess around of the train wagons train uh, train body that's the state that's the state stage we are in right we shall change it. Bye bye friends. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Goo goo bye bye.